Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. He proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I pick one up of the nozzles and that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like happy birthday or whatever. Oh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Ooh! Hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. That's actually a really cute idea, so... Ha ah, ha ha ha. Maybe I'm getting it from you. But what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. At school, nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well, well. Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Eh? Did I say something? No, no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the paste and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. That gave me a chance to think about before Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing and then we each get to work. Oh, I thought she was gonna like grab my hand and you know, show me how to do that. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look how pretty they all are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Ooh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Ha ah, ha ha. I already see ex exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be done 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. What? Why? Well, anyway... I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, already? That's a shame. Your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. Not like you always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcake tomorrow, right? If you and Sayu each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. Don't worry, I won't let her eat any. Ha ha ha. I wish, she, I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah, yeah. Again, th I th again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. Felt so hopeless. Hopeless, actually. Sayori always does listen to me, but at that point it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Even though it's still bright and early, you know, but okay. It's like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. The, the what, what, the what? Did we, you know, work all the way to the morning or something? Like, it's still bright. More than that. Did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, you did. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. Oh, no problem. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What do you what you said before about not always having this chance? It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. 
I wanted to spend more time with you. Have Gooey. I thought you only cared about getting this done. Ooh. But why is her face, her ooh face is, is just like, urgh face. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... I think he suddenly gets closer to me. Oh? Oh. Music stopped. Wait, Natsuki! Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? Her head starts- my head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breasts against me. I felt it. For a while now. Uh, are you okay? Natsuki suddenly jumps back. The Sayori? Eh? Ah, hi, Kevgui. Sayori. Just now, we weren't. Hee hee hee. It's okay, Kevgui. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, ah, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm ready on my way out, so. Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Whoa. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah ha ha, well, I tried staying in my room. My imagination was being really mean to me. I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki. How close you got to her. Makes me really happy. No, 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 no. You're not doing this to me. No, 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 no. That you made such good friends. Oh. Oh, okay. So all that matters to me. Okay, you... Okay, so I know what she's doing, okay? Okay, I know what she's literally doing. He is... Trying to get me to forget about her. That's what her point or her her uh, motivation, not, not motivation, her uh, plan is. That's what she wants to do. She wants to get me to forget about her by having me spend more time with everyone else, so that she's happy that you forgot about her, so that so that her pain and everything will not be seen to me, and thus she's happier that way that no one has to deal with her. That's, that's her uh, train of thought. I, I can see through that. I literally know and understand that. Here starts to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Kevgui? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Well, you know why, Sayori. You just don't want to embrace it. Or actually deal with it. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. It would be so much better if I could just disappear. See? Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Kevgui. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. Oh boy. Come on, Sayori. You're not to put up with me being selfish. Monica's right. I should just... Monica? Monica is right about what? Sayori! What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. Something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Kevgui. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared of that. I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Kevgui, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. You remember how I said I always know what's best for you? You still believe me? 
wordlessly Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. Sayori. Oh. Oh. I'm... I don't know what... Oh, I don't know how this will affect... Oh. Ooh. Oh, boy. Well, anyways. I am actually going to end the episode here, everybody. I love you, or you'll always be my dearest friend. This is gonna make or break Sayori. I feel it. I feel it hard. Oh, man. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Oh, I'm so scared. If you guys didn't, please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!